Okay, it's recording? Yes, it is. Hello, bye, my name is Regular Gamer Alex, and the video you're about to watch was one that I actually streamed on my Twitch channel, which I am hi on hiatus from at the moment due to some network issues I have with my Wi Fi over here. So, while I am on hiatus, this video you're about to watch was an edit down version of some of the streams I played. I do hope you guys will still watch this video, and if you guys do want to watch the full hour to two hour streams, then go check out the Twitch channel I have, which is going to be down in the description down below. But I hope you'll enjoy the video, whether you guys choose to watch the more edited down versions on here, or the full hour long streams on the Twitch. Either way, I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Have fun. Hello everybody, my name is Horror Gamer Alex, and welcome to part two a Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. So, I apologize for not streaming yesterday. My computer's been having some technical difficulties, especially with my Xbox Game Pass that I have on PC, which has not been working, which sucks because that's where my Outlast 2 game was. And since that's not working, I can't stream Outlast 2. Great, so it's going to be a good bit before Outlast 2 is going to be on this channel. That sucks. But I still have other horror games that I bought from Steam. But I'm going to be playing on here. Which, chances are, I'm probably going to be buying Outlast 2 on Steam whenever his next sale probably pops up. Is there a sale going on right now? Oh, who cares? I'll look later today. <clears throat> but we're doing another Spooky Jump Scare Mansion, which I did back on... I did not stream yesterday, so Tuesday. Is it popping up? Okay, there we go. Hold up, it's not coming up. Give me a minute, y'all. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Why isn't my, my computer having so, many tr have so much difficulty now? Okay, if it's not gonna let me use it through the actual screen, then the, the, the hell. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. Uh, seriously, is this it? I have to use a code. What the? Uh... Give me the damn email. <laughs> Uh, this was not the plan here. Come on. Yes, proceed to my Steam. Bring up my games. Why is it not letting me bring up the games? What is going on with this thing? This was not the original plan, y'all. Where is... Why is it not letting me bring up the games? <sighs> bring up the game. What is going on? Why is my Steam not popping up? There we go! I don't know why nothing was working for like a good few seconds there. Now I have to steam up, let me bring up the actual game. Yes, I'm a regular game, not VR. I don't have VR. Bring up the game. Man, my computer hates me. There we go. Okay, that was loud. <sighs> Finally, I don't know why this computer hates me. I don't remember this last ring. For as long as you can remember, legends have been told about the derelict mansion upon the hill that casts a blanket darkness over the town. The history of the house itself is virtually unknown, and even the town's oldest residents cannot remember the mansion's origins. Being an avid history enthusiast, you embark up the mountain to visit the manor, hoping to shed some light on the backstory of this crumbling fortress of darkness.
Okay, so that's why I went to the mansion. Is that it? Okay, so, a little bit of story, because we got a bit of lore on our part one, which was my last stream that I did of this game. So, we learned that this mansion is actually holding a secret, well, an organization or corporation of some sort called GL Labs. That seems to be doing experiments on, kind of like SCP, where they're creating monsters, capturing them. We've seen the few so far. We've seen a green ghost creature with one arm and big teeth trying to eat us. Then we saw a giant red mutant centipede looking creature. Then a ghost girl of sorts. A mannequin with a knife who kind of is a reference to Silent Hill. Who else have we seen after that? I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. So let us get into the game. Yes, we stopped at room uh, 300. Okay, this is really weird. Why is my taskbar at the bottom over here? There we go. Uh, I forgot the sensitivity is so high. Well, let's try and get some rooms down and try and see how um, what more of this story we can get. Because there's definitely some lore here. This is not just an ordinary mansion. They're doing experiments on monsters. And our character is probably unknowingly helping these... Helping to like test these creatures and what they can do and such. So it's very interesting. This is this feels very weird. I normally don't do a stream this early on a weekday. I normally do it one one at eight o'clock, but I had a bit of free time, so I decided to go ahead and do a stream. Okay, no notes. Ah, the arcades again. Let's see anything new. Miss Spook, we've done that, we've already done that, we did that, and we've done that. Okay, so we've already done those games. Those were fun. Those were like a nice little breather. Okay, and we've done this. It's a reference to like the phone guy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Hello, hello. Oh, I almost got by these guys. Little cardboard cutouts that try and like jump scare us. I do nothing too bad. For now, at least. There's one other subject. Hmm. Great. So I was trying to say there's one other subject that we haven't even met yet. Subject? No, that's not the right word. Experiment. No, that's not the no, right word. Subject? I was about to say... Last stream we saw a term that I kind of told us about these creatures. There's one that we hadn't seen yet, but that kind of resembled like a character from Legend of Zelda. Either Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. We we'll like that kind of graphics. Okay. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I think this one is supposed to be like a reference to Majora's Mask. Okay, wait, no, I have to read this in order, I think. One day, strange merchant came town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night, some of the townspeople took all of his puppets and threw them into the river. <coughs> But just afterwards, he came right to the river, crying around that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river, trying to save his possessions. The town people, bitter and still angry, watched him. Frankly, thrashed and dived into the water till he never came back to the surface of the water. Okay, so yeah, this is very much like a reference to a uh, Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask, which is a very creepy game. I'll tell you that much. Wait, what? This is very creepy. I don't know what to expect from this game, but I'm just gonna go with it.
That is not a good sign. A giant door with a skull on it. Oh, it's locked. That's never a good sign in these kinds of games. That's also not a good sign. Of all, not within what the shopkeepers were satisfied. Years later, children in the town began to go missing, and as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. These puppets seemed almost to, to almost to look like missing children sometimes. Sounds like he's turning people into puppets. Dog barking outside. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, he's a puppet. I see his strings. Oh, my God. I don't like that. Oh, my God. I don't like that. I don't like the way he moves. Oh, oh. What? Does he not move when I'm facing him? Oh my god, that's what it is. It's like a weeping angel almost. Oh my god, it's like a weeping angel. Oh no. It's hard to see where you're at. Okay, this one might be one of the more difficult ones. Come on, where's the door? Where's the bloody... There we go. This is very difficult. It's hard to maneuver. But yeah, it's like the Weeping Angels from uh, Doctor Who. Or the Gold Watchers from uh, uh, Dark Deception. Okay, how much more? Jeez. <clears throat> Yep, he's still after us. Okay, jeez. Okay, he's becoming a bit of a nuisance. But hopefully we we'll won't have to deal with him much longer. I think we're on 325. Come on now. Wait, what? There we go. Okay, the music stopped. Okay, so the puppet's gone. So we finally met the puppet man. Who, who, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's direct reference to Majora's Mask. And all the creepy imagery and stuff in there, including the uh, mask merchant. Ooh, okay, I don't know what that is. Never mind, it's the puppet. It's the puppet. As there's someone in front of the house. Okay, yeah, it's. I mean, not the puppet. It's the mannequin. The the Sod Hill mannequin. Okay. Back-to-back -back monster. Okay, well, at least this one's a lot easier to deal with than the, uh... A lot easier to deal with than the, uh... Puppet. The puppet's actually pretty difficult to deal with. Okay, sounds like they're gone as well. The mannequin didn't attack for long. Okay. Those are the most persistent ones. We haven't really seen the centipede creature since the very beginning. This is new. The brain? A giant brain. In a jar. 
there's no note. What is that sound? That sound is new. Yep. Mannequin again. Ah, oh, teacup, not now. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not now. Wait a minute. We hit 350, but we didn't get a save area. Okay, this just got more difficult. They're doing it by hundreds now, no longer 50s. This has definitely become a lot harder. Okay, the music's gone. That means the mannequin is gone as well. Forty more until we get to uh, four hundred. I don't have a single single note in a while. Oh no, I do not like this. No, no, not this again. <sighs> I hate this one so much. <sighs> this is a prize for being never entry, never entry one of my This will never leave me. Then we really see this one. Can I just go back or something? No, we can't do that, apparently. I'm just preparing myself because I know there's going to be a like, little jump scare. God dang it, when is it going to happen? Probably this one. God dang it. I don't know what the deal with this one is. Don't know if it's a ghost. There we go. Finally. I don't like that one. That's the one I probably like the least because I don't understand it. Now we just have 35 more. Oh, it's the cat DOS again. Is there something new this time? Yeah, because this one's six. All these other ones. Okay, so. Wait, no, it said next. Seven. Fatality's 93, unknown. Constantly changing form and attributes depending on subject's personality, but most common form resembles a wall of moving anatomy symbols. Only effect on subjects with patch from or a history of psychological issues. Okay, I'm hoping I don't see this one anytime soon. I will. Oh my god, that one is creepy. Hunter for Night Absorption? A floating figure that appeared in a test chamber three years after it was filled with what was believed to be just a usually violent deer. Sessions sees a gulf subjects and absorbed into its torso region. Proved extremely effective on violent subjects. I don't think we can modify the house layout yet. Oh my god, I have one who's... So there are more monsters. Great, 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 great. You are here. Great! This is one of the best maps I've seen. Great. With the infinite loop over here. Still seems to be two unknown monsters we haven't met yet. A wall of flesh. And some deer looking thing? Oh no, the cat doll said, oh. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Infinite hallways. I know how that goes. I'm not about to get swept up in no infinite hallway. Nope. That is straight up death. We'll have 25 more till we get you in a save. Okay, now was just my eyes. Must be like a little lounge area, part of facility. I like the little references over there, though. Hmm. 
No monster yet. But the rooms do seem to be getting red. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, I thought that might be an indication of another monster. Never mind, now there's... Oh, it's the mannequin again. Of course, it's the mannequin. The mannequin's not too bad. Pretty easy to deal with. Though, she really does hate doors. Huh, we haven't seen the green ghost guy to, or the giant red centipede in a while. But maybe that's a good thing. The red centipede is not exactly one who's easy to deal with. The giant fucking bug. But it could be the puppet. That puppet is... Well, that puppet is actually kind of cool. It, it's a straight-up reference of Majora's Mask. So it's got a cool design, but... The music changed. Okay. That means it's no longer following us. I do like how the music changing is a good indication whether or not the creature is still after us. That's a good mechanic. <sighs> okay, only four more rooms. Three more. Why has nothing happened yet? Here we go, finally, nurse save. What in the... Better ingredients, better pasta, that's the power of the Home Depot. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. Let's just look at the cat. There's a cat in a box. Adorable. What the hell does that even mean? Better pasta, the power of Home Depot? <laughs> Sometimes this game is... Sometimes this game just makes me... Confused. Make my brain hurt sometimes. <sighs> okay, let's see what the new area looks like. Full on cinder blocks. That's. Huh. Somehow that's not nearly as creepy as the other parts. I guess we're getting closer and closer to the actual GL Labs area. Where they were actually experimenting and creating a lot of these creatures. Or just randomly finding them in the woods somehow. Like a... <laughs> like a low-budget uh, SCP containment breach? Threshold of the consciousness... Oh! Hi? Well, over here. Are you lost, little one? This place can help those who are ready, but expect turmoil more than you are used to. Is that the voice of Velma? Listen to it. Uh, can I... Da, da, oh man, I was going to try and get you to talk because it sounded like Velma. And like the Scooby-Doo movies, the live action ones. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. This place does things to you. Why is there a giant grandfather clock here? Why is there a talking cat? This whole... The cat is probably an evil experiment. The cat is in cahoots with whatever is going on here. Are we in an infinite loop already? No, the natural room number changed. That's a good way to tell if you're in a loop or not. But they're not changing that much. Wait, what? Oh, we're on another side of clock, huh? Rusted looking door, rusted looking door, regular looking door. Okay. Two sides of the same coin. Knowing your projections can help you achieve freedom. Okay. What does that mean? What What is this? this I don't understand cats what is what is this on un, un, Alice in Wonderland shit I don't understand broken 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 this game suddenly became Alice in Wonderland in the most creepiest way because the game was already confusing and weird enough <laughs> okay now this looks normal well, at least there's just no creature taste chasing us this time. For I still wish our character actually had more stamina. Goes down way too fast for areas that are like this. 
Ugh. My allergy is still hitting me. It's calm for now, but I'm doing bed as soon as we go for that door, there's gonna be some sort of monster after us. Wait, didn't we come in for your Okay, what, what what do you want, cat? Do you want my soul or something? Okay. I'm hearing you laughing. Put on your mask. I'm hearing like a giggling. Anyone else hearing giggling? I don't trust it. Was it supposed to indicate that we were like an office worker or something? Okay. Ah, oh, the phone again. No, no, no. The annoying phone. Nope. Just nope. Brain inside a container. This game is starting to no longer phase me. I take that back. As soon as I say that, we enter... What is this? What are you? Okay. I kind of know that. I, I mean, I watched the Kung Fu Panda movies. <laughs> oh no. I knew this was going to happen. It's going to become full horror. Yep. Knowing your shadow can greatly help you, but be ready to see what you'd rather not be. Man, I don't even know what my character looks like. This is subject six. The giant wall of flesh and gore. Oh no, we read about this back at the cat dog computer. Oh, okay, I was wondering where... Oh, Ben, there's nothing here. Is something out for us now? Wait, what? Okay, it's starting to become all Silent Hill now. What in the... Okay, I knew it was going to change right on a dime. I called it, I called it, I called it, I called it. That's not always a good thing. I don't know what is this new monster that has like after us or something. Oh, there's the flesh wall. Oh, it is very slow. But that usually means that this is more of a maze, going to be like maze areas. Trying to trick us to actually being killed by that wall. Haha, -ha. so the cat was actually a wall of flesh. That's a sentence I never thought I would say. No, not this again. My character needs to do some cardio or something. He needs more stamina than this. But to be fair, I need to start doing cardio. Room 431. Please try and get to 450. Well, there, we'll get in our safe spots. Hopefully, if we're lucky enough. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Oh, you... Great, we escaped one monster just to go to another one. Seriously, why is it gotta be you? Yep. The green ghost is back. Of course. We escaped from the wall of flesh just to go to a green floating monster with giant teeth in one arm. Great. That's what the doctor ordered, my man. At least he's not too bad depending on the areas you're given to try and escape from him from. Since he can be pretty fast. I'm not going where the slime is because that just slows me down. We're almost to 450. If 
far back is he? Oh, he's very close. Okay, the music changed. That means he's no longer following us. Okay. Well, the eerie music is still unsettling. Uh, normally it's right, but this time I'll try left. Nope, that's just a table. <sighs> we only have three more until we get to 450. There we can get to our safe spot. Here we go. Wait, what? Oh, crap. We can only save on the 100s now. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, video, which if you do not know, this was an edit down a video of one of my streams that I played on my Twitch channel. If you guys want to watch the full uh, stream itself, you guys can head down to my Twitch channel, which will be in the description down below. Or you can watch the videos on here on YouTube for a few more edit down shorter versions of said streams. I am on hiatus from Twitch at the moment due to network issues, but I do hope you guys will enjoy I for one. We'll see you guys then. And follow if you're going to do the Twitch and subscribe on YouTube, of course. I hope you guys had a fun time with the video. See you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.